If you want an antibody test for COVID-19, buckle up, because there is a difference between what is available and what is authorized, and things seem to change nearly every day. Well, this is about the dozens of antibody tests that are on the market. That flashed across my TV on May 4th, just a couple of hours before I was set to get an antibody test. I don't think those antibody tests are useful for individual decision-making around patients. Are more and more experts say that unless you're part of a study, there's no great reason to get an antibody test. But the FDA tightened its rules after criticism over unreliable tests. This will bring some sense of order to a very, very Wild West type of scenario that we've been through over the past uh, several weeks. Dr. Antonia Sepulveda is chair of pathology at the George Washington University School of Medicine, and she says antibody testing may help science, may help research better understand the virus, but right now, antibodies shouldn't give anyone a pass to stop social distancing or wearing masks. There's a limited application at this point, probably more for a peace of mind in a way, when we learn if this turns out to be protective, then I'll feel better. <laughs> That's the question of immunity. Doctors just aren't sure yet if it lasts for weeks or months or a year. And there's also a sizable percentage of people with COVID-19 who've never shown symptoms. Is it 50%, 20%? The CDC says it's probably one in four people who catch the coronavirus but feel just fine. And that's where I think I fit in because I know I was exposed in early March. So I couldn't help but wonder why I didn't get sick or did I just not feel sick? And that's what brought me here to a lab in Washington, DC to get an antibody test. Uh, look for laboratories that the test has received FDA emergency use authorization. That is the simplest way to put it. But there's nothing simple about confirming that. I chose ArtPoint Labs, one of the few available here in Washington, DC. And at the time, their FAQ read, is this test FDA approved? This test is available via the FDA's policy for diagnostic tests. Its clinical methodology is FDA approved. Remember at the beginning when I said there's a difference between available and authorized? Well, when I show up for my test and ask more questions, I discover Arcpoint Labs is actually using testing from Diazyme, a California company. So I get home and I go to the FDA website to confirm the test that I just took is actually authorized. Now, I'm not a medical doctor, but I'm a pretty smart guy. And it took me three emails to the FDA, searching through charts and tables, and then finally searching in the right place to discover that no, Diazyme is not FDA authorized, meaning the test's reliability has not been verified. So then I have to track down Diazyme's self-reported accuracy to match it to the new FDA testing standards. And I'm lost again because there are eight different statistics there. So are you sure you still want to get an antibody test? Listen, I, I do not, I'm not envious of what the FDA is dealing with right now. John Constantine is CEO of Arcpoint Labs. And he told me that since I reached out, they're now rewriting that FAQ sheet and considering test makers, which already have FDA authorization known as an EUA. Not having an EUA, doesn't inherently mean that it's a bad test. It just means that it hasn't gone through the entire review process. So we're constantly looking across the country, not only for our existing lab partners that we've worked with for years, but also potentially new lab partners that are using the reagents um, or the processes that have their EUA. Meantime, Diazyme, the maker of the test I took, didn't have anything else to say about the accuracy of their test but told me they're, quote, undergoing interactive review with the FDA. So if you are determined to get an antibody test, again, experts recommend that you get one which is FDA authorized. As of May 7th, there are only 12 tests like that. And here's how to find them. Go to FDA.gov, search for emergency use authorizations, then scroll down to test kit manufacturers. Then in the search box, type serology, S-E-R-O-L-O-G-Y. And then that is the actual list of which tests have been vetted by the FDA.